and 19.1 is boring as sh**. Yo, what's up guys? It's Kyle back again. I hope you're out there bending bars and making PRs, but today that's not what we're talking about entirely. We're talking about 19.1, and there's not much to it. There's definitely no barbells. So, 19.1 is the first workout of the 2019 CrossFit Open. If you don't follow me on Instagram or you haven't seen some of my last videos, we've been talking about the CrossFit Open and what it is. So just a brief little history. The CrossFit Open is the first preliminary step to get to the CrossFit Games, which is pretty much like the championships of functional fitness. This video is all things 19.1. That includes my initial thoughts about the announcement, my warm up for the workout itself, my strategy for attacking the workout, my actual score for the workout, and what I would do different if I were to tackle it again. So with 19.1 in the books, I'd say I did pretty well. I think I crushed it. Oh my God. Initial thoughts on the workout itself. Where's the rest of it? There's not much there. There's only two movements, which means that there's nowhere to hide. Wall balls and rowing. Wall balls and rowing are pretty much opposites of each other. The wall ball is a full body push, while the row is a full body pull. So it gets really sneaky, so be careful. With there only being two movements in this workout, it means I didn't have to go too crazy with an extensive warm up. So pretty much all I did was alternate between rowing and squat variations. Every time I got back to the rower, I upped my intensity. And every time I got back to the squat, I either added weight or I started going faster. You can see my entire warm up here. So when it comes to strategy, this is very much a tall man's workout. Both the length on the row and the wall balls are going to be advantageous. So for myself personally, I know I'm probably better at rowing than I am at wall balls. So with it being a 15 minute window, kind of on the longer side, I figured that I could hold 1100 calories per hour on the rower and sustain that throughout. My goal with the wall ball was to go unbroken and have quick transitions between the two. So as soon as I was done rowing, reset the rower over to the ball, pick it up right away, no thinking. Same is true when I was going from the ball to the rower. As soon as the ball touched the ground, I'm already trying to put my feet in the rower, start yanking on the handle. Since I'm an out of shape weightlifter, my score was a measly seven rounds plus six reps. Some of my buddies got eight, some of my buddies got 10. It's ridiculous fitness. But if I were to do it again, I think I would try and be a little taller, try and be a little heavier, and try and be a little more fit. Because really, that's the only thing I could have done to get better at this workout. I didn't really have uh, too much time in between transitions. I didn't have any costly no reps. I held my pace, I stuck to my plan. So unless you have some of those execution errors or you fell off really hard because it came out too hard, I wouldn't recommend doing it again. So hopefully you found my warm up useful, if not at least as a starting point. Same with my strategy and you can kind of pace off of my score. Thank you guys for watching. I'd like to know what you got in 19.1. So go ahead and drop a comment below. If you like what I'm doing here, please like the video, share it, or even better, subscribe as I drop a new video here every single Friday. And like always, my friends, make sure you bend bars, make PRs. Movements in this workout. I didn't have to go too crazy as far as the warm-up's concerned. God damn it. People are calling me. Thank you.